The capital has survived its first night of scary rock stars like Alice Cooper, Kiss and Lordy and is about to kick off the second night of rock to Wellington. Dave Farry is down at the stadium preparing himself for Poison and Ozzy Osbourne. He was there last night as well. Hi Dave. Hey Alistair, look, this is probably the most epic weekend of rock Wellington has ever experienced. So epic, it's felt a little bit like Lord of the Rings, but with electric guitars. They came in their thousands, a rock and roll pilgrimage, and some were lucky enough to make it to the front row. Who are you here to see? Alice Cooper and Kiss. Ozzy. Lordy, man. Lordy all the way. All the way. What's so good about Lordy? What's so good about them? They won Eurovision. They won Eurovision. They're the best band in the world. And moments later, Lordy, the opening band of the weekend, went off with a bang. The old Lordy are infamous for winning the Eurovision Song Contest two years ago. Their identities have always been a secret, thanks to their outlandish costumes designed by frontman Mr. Lordy. I can't say I've ever interviewed anyone that looks exactly like you before. <laughs> really? Mr. Lordy says everything he does is inspired by childhood heroes Kiss, including the three hours it takes to apply his makeup. It was the first band I ever heard, and you know, you can see the influences, you can hear the influences, it's pretty obvious. You know, without Kiss, they wouldn't be Lordy, that's for sure. And much like Kiss and Alice Cooper, Lordy have gotten used to being called evil, especially back home in Finland. But as Mr. Lordy points out, it's all just theatrics. Yeah. You know, people are narrow-minded. I call them bucket heads. They have buckets on their heads. After Lordy, Alice Cooper and Kiss took to the stage. No one was allowed to film them because they were shooting their own DVD and wouldn't let us. But there was plenty of other rock and roll madness going on, including fire hoops, a laser shooting dragon care of Weta Workshop, and zombie cheerleaders. All in all, six hours of metal mayhem enjoyed by around 24,000 people, including one Mr. Lordy, who really is just a big softy. I'm a bit nervous before the show. Because really? The key, because the Kiss Alice Cooper aspect here, it's it's it's. They're all here. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, and it's such a big thing for us. It's like, because the first, you know, the, the last time I was I was nervous before the show hmm. was before our very first show, and now yeah. it's been like five years ago. I was nervous. Now I'm nervous again. Oh, Mr. Lordy, what a sweetie. Well, look, this honestly, this weekend has all been about theatrics. It was so theatrical last night. Gene Simmons from KISS, oh, quite theatrical behind me. Gene Simmons actually got tangled up in the scaffolding and had to be let down to finish his song. Also, Ozzy Osbourne today. Wow, amazing behind me. Ozzy Osbourne actually got here and demanded that the big guitar behind me be repainted because it was KISS colours. He had to have it his own colours. So people have been painting that all day and it's just been finished. Dave, you're showing incredible grace under pressure down there. One more question yes. for you. I hear that Mr. Lordy wasn't the only friend you made. No, no, I made a very special friend. I was watching Alice Cooper last night and suddenly an elderly lady next to me offered me an odd fellow mint, which I accepted. And then I said to her, why are you here? You seem to be a bit too old to be enjoying Alice Cooper. You're about 70 years old. And she said, well, look, I'm just out here. I've never done this before. I want a rock concert, so why not do Alice Cooper? Yeah, there's hope for me and Caro yet, Dave. Thanks very much. <laughs>